All right, Queensland Solar Lighting CEO here, uh, about to give my review on JA solar panels. So my personal personal review on these um, JA panels, uh, yeah, they seem to be around quite a bit lately. In the last 18 months or so, they seem to be the number one panel on all wholesaler lists, um, or a lot of wholesalers. JA Solar, weird thing about them were they were never too popular that I seen, never on my radar in in Australia. Uh, but when whenever they did pop up, they were like a bit of a mid premium kind of thing, and they were definitely priced that way. And uh, that, like I said, they weren't too popular, I guess, because of you know they were a little bit more expensive than than the others I seen. Um, but now, yeah, they sit around the very budget end of the big players from from China. So they actually rank number two in terms of uh, panel output out of China and sent out to the world in production. So you've got first is Jinko. That's the big one, the big number one panel. Um, when I say number one, it's in production. It doesn't mean quality or anything like that. It's just how many. Think of Toyota. There's just a lot of them. And while Toyota is pretty good, you know, panels, They've had their ups and downs. So this just strictly means in production. So you got Jinko number one. Number three, you've got Trina, which are, yeah, very popular in Australia and probably more popular than um, JA in Australia. But JA sits at number two. So they're humongous in terms of that's why you see them everywhere now. I don't know why there's been a surge of them recently in Australia, like I said, for the last 18 months. And I also did see that they are now went from, you know, a medium price panel to like more on the budget side. So they've mass made them and made them a bit cheaper than like your Jinkos and stuff and uh, Trina. But, you know, how, yeah, it's interesting because a lot of people are buying them because you can get some, there's a good prices going around with the JA Solars um, and a lot of people are selling them. So, Let's have a look at more at JA Solar. So in terms of how long they've been around, so the JA Solar actually was founded in 2005, so quite a long time ago now. And um, they've got an office here in Newcastle, Australia. So it's good to know you've got that support, I guess. Um, they've been in Australia on and off wholesale list for some time. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised to learn, like over the last couple of years, that they're as big as they are because... Like I said, there was a few years when they really went missing. No, they didn't go missing. They were just quiet because they were sitting on not as many wholesaler lists as a more premium um, product. The thing about solar panels is you see some panels do runs and they will be everywhere sold and then 18 months later they're gone and then only to appear again 18 months later. So it's weird. Um but JA is on that type of production level that they really wouldn't be doing that in the future, I guess. Um, maybe they were out there in Australia in big numbers. I just they weren't on my radar. That could also be that be happening too. But yeah, they were definitely in, nothing like they are now. They are sold everywhere. Uh, so let's have a look at the um, at the spread at the spec sheet of these these things and how they compare. So you've got here. The Deep Blue 2.0, that's what they're called. They're a 390-watt panel. So this is the one everyone's flogging off. Um, you'll see them in all the budget panels, all the wholesalers trying to get me to buy them. Um, I don't want to go, you know, that cheap because I've been caught out before. But that's not to say. I have no idea. These could be the best panel going. So what I did notice, they've got the 15-year warranty, same as what we've seen with Trina and... Uh, uh, all the big ones out of China now, they're all doing a 15-year product warranty, 25-year performance warranty as well, like we've covered. That doesn't really mean anything in terms of a panel quality. Every single panel installed in Australia has to have a 25-year warranty on it, has to do it, doesn't mean anything. So when a salesman says to you, oh, it comes with a 25-year product uh, performance warranty, doesn't mean anything. They all have to say that. Uh, to be sold in Australia, any panel has at least that. And some companies, 
you've gone to 30 or 40 years it's ridiculous who's going to what what am i 35 now in 40 years if i sell a sun power you want to call me up for a warranty at 75 years of age like fuck it's crazy you know what i mean <laughs> are you still in your house then yeah that's what that's why they can do it you know half the people aren't in there well more than that 90 percent of people aren't in their their house today as they are in 30 years you know so let's slap a 40 year but why not slap a 50 year? anyway i digress let's go back on topic of the ja so it's a 390 um 390 watt panel this is the one that you'll be sold in Australia, it's hot cakes at the moment. So what else did I say? So it's a 20 and a half kilogram panel, right? And it's 17, what's that? 1769 by one, 105, two in dimensions at 20 and a half kilos. I've also noticed they've got a 35 millimeter frame on them. So that's a bit different. Uh, whereas you go over to Trina and you actually see what we're comparing with. Their frame is a little bit wider, but not as long. And they're a 21 kilogram uh, panel at, at only a 30 millimeter um, uh, frame. So yeah, it's a bit. So they're a bit more heavier, even though they've got less of a frame on them. So there's probably some more fortifying or something going on in there with the trainer. Hence why you do pay a bit more for them despite the thinner frame but thinner frame doesn't mean much because you know lg one of the most expensive panels you could get you can still get a few of them uh but they're finished up a couple of months ago now they no longer make solar panels um and they were using i believe a 30 mil frame and they were very expensive but they probably were making money too or maybe not that's why they're at the game so yeah i wouldn't get too caught up in that but it is interesting that the uh, trainer is more expensive. It does way more. What are they doing differently? You know, it's got a thinner frame. So, you know, all these panels, they all might, you know, you might get your Trina 390, JA 390, but if you actually look at the spec sheets, they've got different dimensions differently. They're made differently. Really, well, when you, the layman looks at them side to side, you know, look at this weight, 20 and a half kilo plus minus 3%. So it could be 21 kilo, it could be 20 kilo, they're saying. That's the first time I've ever seen the weight say that. I don't know how that works out, but yeah. If you know, let us know. But, uh, that is interesting. So, yeah, you've got the same, um, same warranty kind of things. JA, you just got to take a punt. It is a bit, they are saying it's lighter. Is that because of the build quality? They don't know if it's 21 or 20 or whatever. Put 20 and a half with a plus minus 3% variance on it. <laughs> and this, that's what I mean. This is what you get from a cheaper build. Cost cheap. It is cheaper because it, you know, cheaper doesn't mean better. You know, some people are getting solar quotes. JA will be one of the cheapest. You might come across this review because you want to see, you know, why is it worth buying or is it am i paying this much money for junk we don't know i don't know i'm not gonna sell this because it's just a bit cheap and a bit wishy-washy for me when i can spend a little bit more and put you know better stuff on my customers because you gotta understand i'm dealing with warranties too not just you the buyer because it all comes back to me because if i sell you this and it doesn't work and i'm not saying if you buy this it won't work it could be the best panel ever they could have done something special, you know, and um, we don't know, but we can tell that it is different things going on here to the trainer panel without really getting too much into it. And that's something you can ask your sales rep. But let me assure you, they wouldn't, 99% of them won't know either. I don't know and I'm doing this, you know. It's and the reason why I can't know everything about the 100 panels that are on the market is because there's just so many of them on the market being sold. I don't sell either of them, and uh, they change every six months. There's new panels as well. You can actually get, you know, JA make a commercial now, 545 watt panel. Oh, that sounds good. No, it's actually two meters long, you know, or even longer, and they're a physically bigger panel. So the good thing about this, they've kept the size pretty good. It's before, though, you know, you're not up to, you know, your 1.9 meters yet. 
Um, it's a little bit thinner than the the trainer. The guys don't like them too too wide either. Even though trainers at that point where it's still okay, I believe, um, in in solar practices. Um, yeah, so JA, it's they've been they're in Australia. They've been here a long time. They're a big company. If you want to go, you know, with a good budget panel and you know someone's got a bit of runs on the board like Alan Border, you can uh, go for it. Yeah, like have a look into it. Maybe investigate why it is a little bit, you know, a bit different to something like the trainer, and uh, maybe seek an explanation for that. All right, then. Well, that wraps that up with um, JA. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, because they used to be a premium panel, like I said, like more of the – and then they somehow started going massive and a little bit cheaper. But some people have said, well, maybe that's because they've got all their – they're just that good that they've got that efficient that they can do that. So, you know, go for it. <laughs>